Have you wondered who these little pals of Willy Wonka, so-called Oompa Loompas are, or how much time did it take for Timothy to learn that tippy dance? Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. Well, let's see it. First up, we have the protagonist from the movie, known as the boy in purple velvet, Timothy Chalamet. Forget his brooding superheroes and angsty heartthrob acts. Here, he's a wide-eyed Willy Wonka, filled with youthful curiosity and mischief. Although we experience the sort of mischief in the sequel of this movie, that was more like a mature version of this. Here we have a boy with a bubbling ambition and drive. Without the top hat and flamboyant suits, you might not even recognize him. But fear not, the twinkle in his eyes and his grin are pure Wonka, and will always remind you of the Willy Wonka from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is gonna be the best chocolate shop the world has ever seen. Considering that Timothy had to fill in big shoes, he did so with utmost perfection as he was made for this. And this isn't just a remark, as even the biggest movie critics out there said that the movie was sensational and Timothy was pitch perfect. Now that we have comprehensively discussed the role of Willy Wonka, let's talk about the efforts that went into transforming Chalamet into this iconic character, which definitely wasn't a walk in the park. Hours were spent in the makeup chair, perfecting Wonka's signature pale complexion and rosy cheeks. No doubt the makeup team did their job perfectly, however, the real magic comes from Chalamet himself. In November 2022, Coster Key praised Timothy's acting and said, there's this wonderful effortlessness about how he plays Wonka. He also said the actor drips charisma and a wonderful confidence. He's just a really delicious artist. Whoa! That's not all, as talking about Timothy specifically in the context of how he played Willy Wonka, King said, I think what's so remarkable about his performance is not only that he is funny and mischievous and quite mysterious, as well, just like the Willy Wonka the people will know, but also he brings such heart to the role and he's a brilliant actor. These behind-the-scenes praises in multiple avenues show how perfectly suited the actor was for this role. Next up we have someone without whom the sensational magic in fictional chocolate rivers wouldn't have been possible. Yes, I am talking about the Oompa Loompa. Loompa, Loompa Diddy, I'm not in premium, they call of me. In fact, many argue that the real magic of Wonka might just be the Oompa Loompas. These tiny orange marvels sing, dance, and work tirelessly to keep the factory humming. And who better to bring a touch of sophisticated charm than the one and only Who Grant? You might be fond of his dapper suits and coiffed hair that Grant flashes in his role as a protagonist in the rom-com, but here he is stripped of his suede demeanor and transformed into a miniature figure clad in a bright orange jumpsuit and oversized shoes. All the designer looks are gone and are replaced by a shock of wild, frizzy outlook and a mischievous grin that could melt even the coldest gobstopper. The role he performed couldn't get any better, however. Talking about his experience, Huge mentioned that he hated the whole experience. He said, it was like a crown of thorns, very uncomfortable. Adding to his comment, he called the whole setup drivel, saying it left him confused about whether he should act with my body or not, and I never received a satisfactory answer. He also stated that acts like dancing should be fun, but the final result ended up being done by animators. I made a big fuss about it, but nothing really happened and I couldn't have hated the whole thing more. When asked if the ends justified the means, Grant replied, not really. It is when you come across such comments that you realize that sometimes what goes behind the camera is more interesting than the movie itself. There is no way you talk about behind the scenes and forget the most important ingredient. Although, it is one of those elements that sometimes go unappreciated, however, let's not forget about the heroes who made all the actors ready for the big screen. Yes, I am talking about the hair wizards, costume alchemists, and the sculptors of illusion known as makeup artists. First, let's step into the costume department, where Lindy Hemming designs Wonka's iconic purple velvet suits and the Oompa Loompa's vibrant orange jumpsuits. Each thread in the stitch tells a story, for instance from the playful pom-poms adorning Willie's coat, to the hidden pockets with Slugworth's gadgets, and the intricate patterns on the Oompa Loompa's hats. Each work is done with fine detail. Now that we are done with the costume department, our next stop is the Shop of Sculptures. In there, Willie's signature pale complexion and rosy cheeks were ready, and to add a touch of exaggeration to his nose and chin some very fine prosthetics were sculpted. Once finalizing the Willie's look, these illusion artists moved on to create the Oompa Loompa's impossibly bright orange skin and oversized noses. Although Wonka truly depicts a world of fiction and imagination, however, the delicate balance between realism and imagination can't get any more perfect. Our next stop is the House of Technology where all the things imaginary are formed, from the CGI artists to the green screen specialists. Action! 
These are the people who turned the blank canvas into a dream world for every chocolatier out there. Some might ask, why is it so important that we are discussing it here? Well, the fact that it isn't just a Candyland or a simple backdrop curtain. Wonka's factory is a character breathing, buzzing, and bursting with Willie's genius. Equally genius is the mind of the set designer Nathan Crowley. It all started with a sketch, an idea, or a concept in Nathan's mind. But you know what? All these are worthless without a playground. So we cannot forget the construction crews and technicians who wielded hammers and paintbrushes like wands, took those sketches, and transformed them into reality. In this case, the reality is Wonka's fantastical world where rivers of chocolate flow and fizzy drinks dance. But of course, there is a limit to what a man can achieve with wood and paint. And that's where the unsung heroes, the CGI wizards, step in. Using cutting-edge technology, they conjure up entire sections of the factory, stretching Willy's world beyond its physical limitations. From the waterfalls of chocolate to impossible candy contraptions, CGI artists paint the impossible and seamlessly blend their creations with tangible sets. This is the mastery that goes behind the scenes, and to be honest, without these CGI wizards, Willy Wonka couldn't have imagined such a factory. Our last stop for today on this journey into the fictional world of Willy Wonka ends at a rather surprising spot. Are you ready for the surprise? There's one more secret ingredient that deserves its spotlight, Timothy Chalamet's dancing. I got a baby face, but my hips don't lie. Say I'm a bad kid, bitch, I'm a bad guy. I got a baby face. Yes, you got that right. Our boy Timothy has some moves that he might be too shy to show in the real world but he sure amazed everyone with his quirky moves as Willy Wonka. Now, Chalamet may have wowed us with his ballet skills in Call Me By Your Name, but Wonka's dance style is something else entirely. I guess Timothy and everyone else owes it to the Gatelli, who made it all possible. Talking about his experience with Timothy, he said that, the first lesson I had with him was actually in May of 2021. He was shooting bones and all of the time, and he came in with like this shocking red magenta hair and like super, super skinny Timmy, and I was like, Oh my god, that's not what I was expecting. Gatelli also shared that he has really great rhythm, so it wasn't hard for him to pick it up. There was something that caught a lot of attention as Gatelli named the sessions that he gave to Timothy Dancing Boot Camp. As far as we know, boot camps are supposed to be self-learning and self-paced programs. So when the word got out, everyone was like, what is Gatelli doing? Everyone was simply confused about what was going on. So, Gatelli came forward and explained that Chalamet was dealing with a busy schedule during his dance training, which meant it was up to the actor to put in the work. Adding to that, Gatelli also mentioned that you could tell when he was away, he practiced what we gave him. Timmy was definitely like, push me, I don't want to just look like I'm doing basic stuff here. If you want to do it, make me do it. And he put in all the work. So what you are going to see on the screen is a shared effort from both the trainers and our protagonist Chalamet. But whatever happened behind the scenes, you should get ready to tap your toes and giggle with glee. Chalamet's dancing infuses the movie with an extra layer of magic, as if it wasn't already magical enough. The movie is out and playing in the theaters, so if these chocolatey behind the scenes interested you, then I would suggest you go watch the real fun and how it all turned out. Give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do leave your feedback in the comment section below. On that note, I'll end this video here. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.